I received a text message the other night from a viewer who said that another YouTuber had posted a video that was addressed to me. And it was a YouTuber that uh, I guess he is answering my rebuttal to him from last year when he wrote and trash talked Monta. Uh, so uh, when I come back, I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? Hey! Oh, Rocket Chick Roger. Hello there. I don't want to get into the business of debating other YouTubers about my videos and about Monta and about Ecuador, but this guy, uh, he seems like he's hell bent on 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 Monta. I mean, he doesn't he has nothing good to say about Monta. I looked at his video to see exactly what was said and the title of his video was hey Don Monta still sucks plus three things I forgot to mention you know and I, I respect every youtuber that takes the time to produce these videos and talk about life in Ecuador and life you know in the different cities around the country whether it's Waikil, Quito, Cuenca or here in Monta he said, in this video, he, he talked about the beach and said that it was not a walkable beach. And as you can see from some of the video clips that I'm showing here, these are clips that I've shot recently on the beach here. This YouTuber referred to the Monta Beach here as Monta Beach. When in fact it's, it's actually called Playa El Marseille Lago. So it's the Marseille Lago Beach. I, I, I guarantee, I mean the beach is not as big as the beach is in Olón and Canoa and some of the, the other coastal towns, San, San Lorenzo. It's a, it is a relatively small beach, but I mean it's a, it's, a, it's a big enough beach that for me to walk from my apartment to the pier and back which you can see here from the video that is really quite a long ways it's a good walking beach it's a good jogging beach and for him to say that you know he he said he didn't get 30 or 40 steps before he started running into rocks and then when he attempted to turn around and go the other way he had people well i mean yeah you're gonna find people on the beach i guess right i mean that's what people do here, you know. He said the boardwalk is not very big. He said the boardwalk was like this big. And yet you can see from this video clip here, it's I, th I think this thing's at least five feet wide. I don't know where he's getting this information where he thinks that it's only so small. But, you know, it. and, and then he also said, that, you know, there's no place to park. Well, most people here... I mean, not everybody here drives a car. Not every expat that's living here drives a car. We all live within walking distance of the beach. A lot of us live within walking distance of the beach. There's a taxi stand right outside the entrance to the beach. Everybody can take a cab or a taxi and go home. And you're right. I believe you can park in the mall and walk across. I, but I'm not 100% certain about that. I don't know if the mall will allow you to park your car in their parking garage and then go to the beach. I'm, I'm kind of betting that they don't. I plan to do a video in the future about the mall here, the big mall, Mall Del Pacifico. And I'll find out about stuff like that when I, when I do that video. So I don't really see how, you know, having a car is not, it's not a problem here. No place to park, so what? There's no place to park. You're probably not going to drive a car here anyway, so... I don't know why that's such a big issue, but you know, and then he said that Monta was hilly, and Monta, yeah, there's a lot of hills here in Monta, there's, I, you know, even though we are on the coastline here, it's not real flat, it's flat here along the coast, along the Malacan, 
but as soon as you start walking and getting into the city, yeah, you encounter some hills. I'm not denying that. But I don't see what's so negative about it. I don't understand why this guy has to be so negative about this city. I, I just don't get it at all. I mean, it's, I've been told by other friends of mine that you're a, a real estate agent and you're trying to get everybody to go to Quito and buy from you. I don't know if that's true or not. Don't really care. But, I mean, I respect you for what you do, but I don't respect you for you trash talking this city. I just don't think it's necessary. One of the things that you didn't talk about is the people. I never hear you say anything about the people of this city or health care or the quality of food. There, there are things to do here. There are things to do from here. Monta, Monta is not a bad place to, to visit or to live. There is a lot of development going on. There's a lot of major development going on right now in this city. For this YouTuber to trash talk this city, I think it's disingenuous to the audience that wants to look at Monta for a place to live and retire. So, that's really all I have to say about it. I don't want to get into a debate with him or anybody else about this. There's good and bad in every single city in Ecuador. Good and bad. I've, I've often talked a lot of times about the noise and stuff that you encounter here in Monta. But all this stuff is, is easy to deal with. That's just all I have to say about it. Folks, don't be afraid to come to Monta. You'll be welcome here, and you'll find that the people here, which is the most important part of living here in Monta, is the people. The Ecuadorian people in Monta are wonderful people. And I love them all. So, that's what I had to say about it. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Can somebody please tell me what TTYL means? Every time I ask somebody, they tell me they'll talk to me later.